this one is a head scratcher and I know nothing about minivans, never worked on one, but that door opens and closes fine. This one, really hard to open and close and the motor's burned out, I guess, so it doesn't work. But, uh, so the complaint is the battery keeps dying and it seems to be going on ever since this door stopped fully closing. And whenever you do shut this door, which I cannot do now, and I'll show you why in a second, the back end is, is sitting out a little bit. And you gotta hold it in and hit the lock button for the car to lock. Cause if not, a door will pop back out again. So me not knowing anything about this, I just started um, tearing this apart. And with help of Eric, the car guy, love that channel. Um, so, you could, so I came, I opened the door up. You gotta pry this door. I was like, pry the door open as far as it'll go. And there's a Phillips head screw right here. And then yeah. Take out this headlamp, which I can't do right now because my door is closed. And then there is a, once you get out this headlamp, which is just two Phillips head screws, um, here's one 10 millimeter bolt, and that frees up this plate. Now this plate, which I also can't show you right now, is on these grooves. You just slide it forward and pull it out. And the first thing I seen was that little plastic piece right there. That little plastic piece should be on a roller up in there, and it's completely shredded, which, see that? It's just rocking back and forth. It's no longer guiding. So fingers crossed, that's the problem. So I got the part up here. I would have liked to went OEM with this one, but this one had to be shipped since the front, front left door. So here's what the guys, here's what it should look like. So uh, let's get, let's get that off. I have no clue what I'm doing. So I'm going to figure it out, bring you along and we'll, Figure this out together. I got the door braced up and now we're just gonna remove these two. Oh, let me see, that's righty tight. He says, lefty. There we go, 12 millimeter bolts. I seen that it was like a whole assembly. I was looking for one of those online, but couldn't find one. That'd have been nice, so I wouldn't have to piece these two together. There's one. Oh, we have to get a socket. I used a shallow 12 millimeter socket, and now I'm gonna attempt to push the door forward safely. And now it's sliding really nicely. So, um, How do I get this off this wire? Oh yeah, look at that. Hmm. Okay, so, man, I wish I had a headlamp. Let's try to get this for you guys. So I kinda just gotta rot rotate it. Take it, just try to rotate it. Oh, I'm sorry. I needed two hands, so essentially take a needle nose and twist that to that opening and those two just fall right out. This right here is this right here is your problem. See, it's in really bad shape. That one's missing. So now we got to get. Now we got to get this new part, which goes just like this onto this one. So this just looks like a. Okay, yeah, okay, so this is just a little ring. Oh, 
gonna go get a pick or a flathead or something. I also don't want it to go flying. I don't know how much pressure this is under. Okay, so not bad. Um, okay, so probably just gonna hammer that out. Okay. Whew. All right. So this side's got teeth on it, so we know that's going to match these teeth. So this, so this has to go. Only goes in this way. I'm going to get this cleaned up. Okay. Shined it up. So we'll get this. Spring will sit right there. That's back in place. Let's go figure out how to put it back on the car. All right. So now it goes like this, because it's got to go up in here. Look at that. So we know that's that. Now, for here, put this side in. goes down like this. Okay, it only goes in one way. So and we're gonna do the same for the other side. We're going to okay, that side's gotta go on the bottom. Oh, boy, that's 
strong. I'm gonna try something different though. I'm gonna put this side in. I don't think that's gonna make a big difference, but for some reason it seems like I can. Oh. Wow, this thing's under a lot of pressure. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to grab the wire a little bit further down, like so, because I can get it in. Oh! Got it. Here we go. Awesome. Okay. Put that back in the wire guide where that goes. Right here. Hope you can see that on film. Now, we're going to bring that door back. Back towards me. It's on the jack, so we can adjust the height and everything like the so. Lower the door. Okay, the door is free and clear. Okay. Still see there's something wrong with this handle right here. But it now rolls back and forth. His back is still sticking out. Okay, let's do some more research on that. All right, not sure where we left off at. So here's what I ordered. I got this, it's a used part. The new ones are like $300. Um, really don't care about this motorized part since it doesn't work anyway. So this being cut doesn't really matter. Um, but this part is what's broken on that door over there. Anytime this latch comes up, it just springs back. There's nothing in here. I can just, I can just move it. All right, so I'm gonna try to fix it. So this one, here's your two, two wires. So if I, if I simula simulate the shutting of the door, see, sticks. And if I push the release, it releases. So that's hopefully gonna fix this. Now I don't remote, I'm not even gonna pretend I know what I'm doing. I don't. So, let's get this off. It's probably not gonna come off, probably gonna need tools. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, we're off to a, a decent start, I guess. Um, so this is a very, very simple mechanism right here. All you do is pull down on this and you pull off the top too. I'm um, gonna we'll get a pry tool so I can pry these out. That's gonna all have to go. There we go. Done. are all free i'm not really worried about what just fell and uh 
All right, well, we already know we have to get this outer hinge off, so we'll just go out there and do that. Which is right there. What size, are that? What size is that? 10 millimeters. So we'll take off these three. With those three out, um, now essentially what this was doing was, um, anytime this, I fixed the, the guiding issue, it rolls really smooth now. Once it shuts, this back end just stays popped out because it doesn't catch the latch anymore, I hope. Um, let me see what looks like. So that's just a little clip right there. And this is definitely connected. I don't know to what, but. Assuming this one too. Yep, okay. I'm not gonna take that one all the way out. And maybe this bottom one down here. Oh, let's look for clues. Here's the new one. So it's set up just like this. And just two. Yeah, it's just two. Okay. Um. Oh, there, I got that pulled out. Okay, so that's not moving anywhere. Get out that away. Let me do some poking and prodding. All right, so what I did was I removed uh, this bolt right here, it's a larger one, it's still 10 millimeter, but it's got the larger uh, built on washer. And then something just fell. And now this thing is completely free. So that's what you have to do like this. I don't know what that piece is. I will have to do some, some research, but, uh, but yeah, yeah, and I'll figure it out. But anyways, that's where we're at so far. Um, there's that thing back there, which I'm getting caught on, and I'm assuming it's something to do with maybe like a window guide or something. So I'm gonna need two hands again. I'm sorry, I wanna show you, but if you made it this far, you can figure the rest out, I promise. You just gotta get this large piece out of this large hole. How hard can it be, right? <laughs> All right, that was pretty easy. Um, yeah, here's what I'm talking about. See this one right here? No matter what, it doesn't catch. It just craps back out again. So let's get the new one in. All right, I wanted to show you before I put this all back together how this is gonna go. So once you once you remove this thing, it's gonna just fall. But that's how you, you slide it up on the bottom of this window bracket, and then it'll go right there. So that's how that goes. But yeah, let's just take that out for now. And then It's not very hard to get it in. It's just hard to film and show you guys how to do it. But there's just a little area like right here. Got it. All right, that was not fun. All right, so 
essentially how you gotta get this in because there is that, as I showed you, that one window guide at the bottom. So I'm gonna grab this old one since I got it. So, oh. so you've seen how I put it in. Let me get the camera back, all right? Now, that bar is gonna rest against the back of here like this. So you have to shove it deep down the door as you can go, push back on that, we'll call it the window guide, and then angle it up like this. So you gotta do a, like a swooping motion in there and then it pops right into place. That's as far as I got, cause I just got these just resting in there. And then you gotta reach your hand underneath here. Very easy to do. Slide it on the bottom of that window guide like I showed you, and then put your 10 millimeter bolt back. <sighs> okay. So now that that's all done, I can't believe I couldn't find, like I've seen videos on this, but nowhere near this this clear. So I hope, I hope I'm doing something for somebody. There's that. fully shut it to get to this one right here. All right. There. Technically the inside's done. Um, let's go outside and put those three bolts in. All right, so I got those three screws in. Um, so I'm going to put this in. Uh, so they only go in one way, so you can't mess this part up. I guess you could, but you shouldn't. So uh, that goes in there like that, and that just swoops up. And then you can push that in. And now this one actually what unlocks that side door. This one's a little more trickier because you got to put it in here and then kind of slide it back. No, let me do it a different way because that just seems push the stud in, lock that in, and then you got that. And go ahead and just start putting all your uh Push tabs back in. Oh. Okay, this one goes right back here, which you probably can't see. This one will go up here because it's the top one. And we'll do the same thing with this bottom one. It goes right here because it's on the bottom. And then there's one. For some reason, this one, there we go, got it. All right, now, again, this one doesn't really need it because the power door doesn't work, but slide this one back in here and then take this one, slide it back up through here. And that's it. And then put that back on that side. So there, are everything, all the wires are back to where it goes. Um, this is the old handle. So now let's take it for a test drive. I lied, we forgot one thing. So this part comes underneath here. Ah, there. So that's how that goes. Let me shut off this light. Maybe you can see it better. That could be better. All right, so let's take it for a test drive. Now, if I'm correct, that since that motor burned out and that this should technically work now. Um, kind of excited to see. I've never dealt with a van door before. Drum roll, people. I should just be able to do this. And the door should shut. And there we go. Look at that, nice and flush. And that's what their problem was. All right. So, anyways, that's that's the that's the door now. Let's open it back up. Oh, she's beautiful. All right. Now we gotta do the very long and painstaking process of putting all the door panel stuff back on. It is, it's a lot of stuff to put on. But anyways, take it off, put it back on the same way. I hope this video helped. Hit that like button, subscribe, and uh, give me a super thanks, man. It's my first van. Come on, people. I'm playing. See you guys next time.